I'm Rob Hall, I'm Director of Product Design for Madcats and we're here in Madcats Mega in the UK. Can you talk a little bit about what goes into designing video game accessories and peripherals? I mean, if you want to take something as an example, let's talk about uh, a gaming mouse and how that has evolved. Uh, th there's an awful lot involved in, in designing a, a product. Um, we take as much information as possible, we, we observe a lot. Uh, so watching people play games, how they use their current peripherals, um, we take into account current games uh, and, and when you put all of that information into the pot and then try to find um, the best product that we can make collectively for that user, that consumer being king or queen, um, to then play the game at the best of their ability. That's our job in, in the gaming world, to provide that experience for them. When it comes to that best gameplay playability, there are professional gamers out there today. What role do they play in how you guys are designing and developing products? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it, it is different, but it isn't. We, because they have quite a specific way of playing and, and they're very used to what they do, um, they have a distinct muscle memory, um, they use their devices in a very particular way um, and they're at the top of the game. So what we do is, is talk and observe them more closely so that we can take information from their gameplay style. Um, we're, we're watching how quickly their fingers can operate across the keyboard, um, how quickly they can tap the primary functions of a mouse. Uh, take that information and then build that into a peripheral that uh, we think is great for the general consumer. Now, in taking that information, one professional gamer to another professional gamer may hold the mouse, for example, completely differently. Maybe a claw grip or a palm grip. And what we've got to take into account is that uh, can we give the general consumer that opportunity to choose? Um, and so that's, that's how we approach the, the product design aspect of, of a mouse in, in this case. Let's talk a little about the evolution of the rat from a design and development standpoint. The rat was a, the original rat, it was, it was a massive challenge for us. Um, to take the, uh, the way people play the game and to offer them the, the customization to use the, the best componentry, um, to incorporate the best sensor, to have the, the, the most responsive product and the most accurate product that we could deliver um, was a massive challenge Techn technically, um, ergonomically and aesthetically that's also a challenge. It can be subjective at times so we've got a very distinct design language. We try to make um, a static object look kinetic. We try to make the product on its own look exciting so from a um, if you see it sat on a the table then you want to go and pick it up, you want to touch it, you know that's, that's uh, part of our part of our industrial design role um, but then making sure that it performs as well as it can perform um, is also key so that holistic view of new product development from a great looking object to one that performs the best uh, with the, the best programming software enabling the user to uh, configure and manipulate to exactly how they need to use it was um, a great challenge great fun brought the whole team together um, in order to meet those expectations. So. Can you talk a little about the challenge of creating something that people can physically take apart, customize and put back together and have, it, have to have it work in all these different configurations? Uh, yeah, it was, it, that was an interesting challenge in itself. Um, I think we, we took the main contact points. So we observed how people uh, approach the product, I mean physically approach it. So put their hand on an object. Uh, so we built ergonomic test models and worked out those key contact points. If you take everything else away from those key contact points, then you're left with that beautifully ergonomic, comfortable object that you can move in every way that you would like to move a mouse. Um, but you're also left with something visually dynamic because you've taken all the extraneous material away. So you've got this very distinct looking object that is still beautifully ergonomic and still has all the functionality and componentry that makes it um, technically function better than anything that, that, that we had done before. Um, so taking that approach, to, to and, and that's just the rat, we, we, do, we do that with other products in our portfolio as well. Um, but that's a good example of taking the, the excess away, you get left with that object that looks like no other, 
looks fast, looks streamlined, looks like uh, uh, a, a supercar almost. Um, and it in, in, engages and encourages people to put their hand on it and try it. So yeah, it, it was real fun, great project. Mm -hmm.